Robot Vacuum Simulator 2013. This is so exciting. I've always wanted to play a robot vacuum simulator. And thanks to Stolidus Simulations, my dream has come true. <sighs> this is so good. Let's try out this campaign mode. Alright, so this is obviously the house that these filthy pigs live in that we have to clean up. Got some awesome music going on there to keep me company. Now let me do some reading from the website for you guys. Robot Vacuum Simulator 2013 is a groundbreaking simulator taking place in the incredible world of robot vacuum cleaners. The simulator puts you in the shoes of a robot vacuum cleaner and sends you on a journey through an apartment cleaning up the dust of man. Wow, isn't that just brilliant? Features the most realistic robot vacuum simulator ever. Well, it's the only robot vacuum simulator ever. Oh, look, lots of DVDs. We like DVDs. What else have we got? Incredible single player simulation. Well, just look at this, guys. Is this not incredible? Look at this dirt. I mean, what do these people live like? They make all these weird little shapes of dirt and the music's getting all jazzy and guys this is so exciting duel with your friends in two-player mode a fully open world i mean look at this we've got a whole apartment to go through this is amazing fantastic music oh yeah you can't deny i listen to that it's like i've got some jazz dude playing some sexy sex in my ears this is just Oh, this is so peaceful and relaxing, and yet so action-packed. Look at this. This is just amazing, these graphics. I mean, come on. Crisis 4. I hope you guys are looking at this, because this is where graphics are at. This is how you do it. Not those rubbish graphics that you guys do. And the last feature that it has is a main menu. Yes, guys, it has a main menu. Unfortunately, I do not have access to the menu right now because once you click to go into the game, you are in the game and that's the only way to exit it is to press Alt F4 or click on the little X in the top corner. So let's just press escape. No, that doesn't work. Maybe F10. No. I don't actually know. That's a bit strange, but it doesn't work, so there isn't actually a menu. There's a main menu, but once you launch the game, that's it, you're in. Uh, this game is dripping with awards, however, guys, and I'm not lying here. I will post the link in the description, and you can have a look at the awards that this game has won. Now, let me read them out to you. The first annual Robot Vacuum Simulation Prize. So, yeah, that's quite a good one. It probably would have helped a bit if they spelled annual correctly. <laughs> it's got one N in it, but whatever. Uh, Game of the Year 2013. Best Simulator of 2013. Best Sequel Awards. I mean, come on, it doesn't get much better than that. Does Game of the Year 2013. And who are these awarded by? Stolidus Simulation. So the developers of the game have given this game so many awesome awards. Just look at these graphics, look where this floor meets this wall, that is just so seamless and so good. And this is how fast this vacuum cleaner goes. This is the only vacuum cleaner in the game, there are no other ones, you cannot select better ones or faster ones. It's literally a case of click campaign and then you just go around this flat sucking up these horrible people's dirt. I mean how dare they live like such pigs. <sighs> this is just brilliant, I'm loving this. Okay. Then we've got a review. There's a review on their website. Now I'm going to skip all the interest, all the boring bits where it says how this game basically changed someone's life and all of this. And this, I'm quoting this 20th of May 2013 will go down in history as the day when Stolidus Simulations released their greatest creation yet. Yes, this is a sequel, by the way, folks. There was another one. Uh, Robot Vacuum Cleaner 2013. Its gameplay is like nothing no one has ever seen and will revolutionize the gaming industry, if not the modern world. Well, this is most certainly revolutionizing the gaming industry. Uh, what else does it go on to say? Stolidus has managed to create a game that will suck players into its massive world that encompasses several rooms. <laughs> And on top of that, tells the most spell-binding and creative story ever told. So, I'm just looking for a bit of story here. Maybe there's some NPCs we could run into. Well, 
some quests and mission because uh, this this is uh, a bit lacking on the story front Stolidus at the moment I'm hoping there's gonna be a dragon that pops around the corner and I get to shoot him or something like that just for a bit of something different uh, what else does it go on to say one may laugh at the idea of creating a game where the player is expected to sympathize with a robot and care for its actions and struggles in the world but Stolidus' extravagant game puts those claims to the test and proves once and for all that Stolidus is the greatest gaming company the world has ever seen. 11 out of 10. Wow, this is just astonishing. I am truly in the company of royalty today, guys. This is amazing. Big thanks to Hetstein on the Daisy forums for pointing me in this direction because this is just... I wish you guys could see the grin on my face right now. This is just absolutely amazing. To be playing the game that's been awarded Game of the Year 2013. The game that is going to revolutionize the gaming industry, if not the modern world. Oh, it's just... It truly is amazing to be in the company of such royalty. And I'm just wondering, does dirt respawn? Another thing I should probably point out to you guys is that I, this is probably take four of doing this video. And in the last three takes when I booted up the game, the dirt was all in exactly the same position. So if you play this long enough or enough times, or I don't know if play is the most legit description here. It could be endure, if you endure this long enough perhaps, then you could do it blindfolded so I don't know I'm still looking for a bit of story do you guys see any story anywhere? we're going on in the bed now maybe there's going to be some kinky action going on on the bed I don't know maybe I'm missing something maybe I just suck at this game there's such a scope for puns and silly comments in this game isn't there this is truly remarkable I'm loving this I'm loving this let's see I'm gonna finish hoovering up all the dirt so we've only got that one left don't know if this thing has an infinite supply of juice or if I've got to go recharge at some point it doesn't seem to be slowing down yet although it's not really fast enough to begin with oh <laughs> okay Alright, so <laughs> I've collected all the dirt and that's it, game over. <laughs> right, so my review of this game. Um, shall I be brutally honest or... Okay, guys, I appreciate what you guys have done here. Um, Sebastian, <laughs> he just happens to be pretty much the only name on the board except for Mr. Audio Director. Um, what can I say? Not, not aiming for the stars there, guys. The graphics aren't as good as people would have said they could be. There is definitely a bit of scope for improvement here, guys. But thank you all for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed my review of Robot Vacuum Simulator 2013. I love you all, and I'll see you all in my next video. Cheers. Bye-bye. Oh, lead, lead traitor. There we go. Lead traitor. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to leave it at that. This is just too good. I need to stop. I'll speak to you guys later. Cheers. Bye-bye.